Fellow Rwandans, friends of Rwanda, members of the Rwandan Movement for Democratic Change, RMDC Ubumwe, on behalf of our organization, it's my pleasure to greet and wish you a peace, justice, and democracy. On an occasion such as this, I wish to convey a message from our organization, RMDC, expressing our sympathy in the difficult times that we face on a daily basis as a result of the RPF in Motanyi regime, as well as invite you to join our efforts in condemning all ill doings directed to all Rwandans, Rwandan nationals, inside and outside our country. Furthermore, as an organization that fights for freedom, this is an occasion to take a retrospective look and evaluate our achievements and decide on the next course of action in order to spread, to speed, to speed up the process towards achieving our goals. Among other realizations, our organization has strengthened its structures around the world. Our organization has established friendships and secured supports, created ties and collaborations with the other organizations that have similar agenda, mobilized, we have mobilized foreign countries and the international community for a clear, in, for a clear position about the Rwandan plight. We have condemned some of the current government's policies which impoverish natives and many more. Fellow Rwandans, friends of Rwanda, and members of our organization, the RNDC, the enemy of the Rwandan people, has not changed since 1990. His cruelty has intensified, and below are, how, are some examples of how. Many Rwandans have been brutally murdered, such as Lizinde Sendashonga in Nairobi, Kenya. Kano Karigeya was murdered in, um, in South Africa. Boniface Twagimana recently was murdered in Kigali, Rwanda. And many others have been, are being, as we speak, are being murdered inside and outside the country. Many of our fellow Rwandans are forcefully taken by security forces and not seen again especially in the southern province near Nyungwe Forest, where since the beginning of July 2018, the NLF launched a military struggle to liberate the Rwandan people until today. These criminal acts continue to take place. Many innocent Rwandans are in custody, while journalists face daily persecutions. A number of Rwandans have left the country for fear of their safety. A number of Rwandans have left the country due to hunger and starvation, while the clique in power enriches itself on a daily basis. Aggression against neighboring countries has intensified towards today. We can, first, we can foresee a war between Rwanda Burundi and the Congo being prepared by President Kagame. Political opponents continue to be persecuted, jailed, while some have fled the country. Government policies of impoverishing the people are going on. State institutions, especially the judiciary, continue to be used as instruments of oppression. Due to all these atrocities, it is imperative that in 2019, we speed up the liberation struggle. Rwandan people can no longer stand the cruelty and all kinds of ill treatment directed to us by the RPF regime. The time has come for us to use any means possible to bring about change in Rwanda as all political means have been tried and failed. It is time to attempt our last resort. Hence, I plead my unreserved support that our youth 
the National Liberation Forces, NLF, launches against the Kagame army in the order to free the Rwandan people. As Rwandans, it is important to understand that this is the only way to bring about change in the whole country. For this fact, I call upon all Rwandans, all political and civil society organizations, to support these young women and young men who took a lead in this struggle and to mobilize all people to join the NLF in the fight for change. The Rwandan Movement for Democratic Change, RMDC, calls upon the international community to isolate the RPF government, to pressurize it for peace, willing and human rights for Rwandans and people of the Great Lakes region of Africa, the only way to avoid conflicts and install durable democracy. I further call upon the international community to join hands with the RMDC in our vision of eradicating the plight of the Rwandan people for durable development. On behalf of the Rwandan Movement for Democratic Change to Bumwe, I wish all Rwandans, friends of Rwanda, and all our members a happy and blessed Christmas and a prosperous New Year 2019. Viva justice, peace and democracy for all of us. God bless Rwanda.